Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Nick here, back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about HBAR, but before we jump into this video, I do just want to clarify and actually just mention overall that if you guys do want more free content and more uh, just free knowledge overall, uh, you guys could definitely join the Discord down below in the description below. And also follow me on Twitter at NCashOfficial. But nonetheless, let's jump into this video. And if you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications on to really be the first ones in line for any new videos as well. So, <clears throat> what are we seeing? What are we watching right now? So, overall, uh, I mean, HBAR is doing pretty incredible things right now. It's at currently 28.5. Uh, it's it's up pretty decently uh, at 33% in a 24-hour period. Uh, now, of course, some other assets like, you know, for example, ADA is up 25% almost. Uh, BNB is up 20%. XRP is up 11.2%. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, I'm extremely bullish because HBAR is one of those assets that are up a massive amount right now. And it's actually doing incredible in terms of movement. Now, Bitcoin is recovering a little bit at 41.3. Uh, like I said, 45 is my target. I actually even said that here on Twitter. Let me show you guys that. So I said I'm watching for Bitcoin to hit my target at 45K. Uh, once we break over that level, it's off to 50K plus to reclaim our natural areas of support. This is also very bullish for alts as they recovered quicker than Bitcoin or most of them so they will range much higher in recovery and the reason why I mention that is because if we currently look at HBAR right we're currently trading let's zoom out at you know 28.6 almost 28 you know almost 29 uh, overall uh, but the reason why I'm so bullish is because if we look here we actually reclaimed the position that we were in before this major dip down now, if we look here at where we were on the 18th of May in terms of Bitcoin, let's go to the one day chart here. So if we look here on the 18th of May, we were practically sitting at about 40, about 42,000 to around 45, for almost 46 K. Now we're not, at those levels yet we're almost getting there but the price of h bar is practically at those same amounts of money uh, that were there pretty much here and the reason why i'm comparing and contrasting that overall is because if we're already here when you know bitcoin was that high just imagine how high we go once bitcoin reclaims fifty thousand dollars you know right now we're trading at about 28 cents 28, 28, 5, give or take. We're bouncing around a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, you know, we're still in the 67 day accumulation period where we're consolidating and consolidating. And this will honestly probably stretch. I, I, I will be completely honest with you. This will stretch a little bit. And the reason why I'm even com like pretty much showing you that this is a 67 day period is because by this time, a lot of people were probably already shaken out. This is a long-term hold, uh, but we're ranging to break out into the top 10, I think. Because think about it. We're already at about 33% increase in price. We actually just went up uh, above Dash. Dash is now below us in terms of market cap. But we're still only at a $2 billion market cap. I'm expecting this asset to be up into the top 10 to break this $15 billion uh, market cap fully in such a short amount of time. I mean, honestly, we are moving pretty quickly from this bottom down here at almost 15 cents. And I think it's only a matter of time before the volume really flows in, really, you know, boost the price up. Now, where would our price be in order to break out into this top 10 mark? It would be about $2. Uh, a little less than two dollars overall, but still, we I, I'm I'm telling you guys, it's so undervalued right now. H bar is an absolute monster of an undervalued giant because listen, we already got the news today 
that you know Link is pretty much onboarding with Hedera. That is a huge, huge opportunity to really capitalize on mad profits that are going to be happening here very soon because we cannot keep trading sideways forever. We're in a 67 day period where we've just been trading sideways overall. And if we look here and we come from the bottom up to this 45 cent uh, candle, let's look at what this percentage is in terms of price. So overall, this is a 1300% increase in price. If we now again not using this bottom candle as that is an impulse down you know low from Bitcoin if we do a bottom from this candle here and we do a 1300% increase in price we would be at about three dollars and ten cents now three dollars and ten cents is not extremely bullish that is i mean that's clearing my target that's basically my conservative beginning target from the three to six dollar range uh but the reason why i'm saying that that's not extremely bullish is because i think that hbar will do a lot more in terms of it could possibly 10x from three dollars to thirty dollars uh, we have a ton of you know updates coming out in terms of hbar uh, now in terms of adoption we're also seeing a lot of adoption coming into place as well you know if you guys haven't watched my recent videos in terms of the updates that are going to be happening very shortly in terms of hbar i definitely advise you to do that because there's only a short amount of time before this fully breaks out of this consolidation wedge here. And, you know, for this to reach, you know, that $3 range, that's nothing. Like I said, it could easily pull a Matic from these current prices down here at $0.28 cents to hit the Matic 10x to go to $2.80 plus. Now, like I said, to do the same amount of a push up, now, again, that's 1380 so it would be a little bit more so it would be about three dollars and like 30 cents give or take um but to do that it wouldn't be that crazy of a push up now again that will be absolutely bullish overall yes uh but it's not extremely bullish in my mindset because i do know where the price could really go now again i'm not saying hey don't sell three dollars hodl 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 i'm saying you know, we are going to range higher, in my opinion. I think $10 plus is easily targetable for HBAR. Now, again, right now, we're seeing Bitcoin hit 42K. Now, every time that we've hit 42K, we actually see it a little bit breaking down here. Every time that we hit 42K, we broke down from it. What I would like to see in terms of Bitcoin to really flip bullish in terms of all alts would be a break above that 45k mark. So if you want to set a price target for Bitcoin at 45k to see if we break that point to really see if this range is higher, definitely do that. But should you buy into HBAR at these current levels? Honestly, I would DCA in. Entry points right now on HBAR could not be any better. This is an undervalued gem at this moment and it's only going up from here in my opinion. Now, yeah, we might get a little bit of chop. We might come down a little bit in price point. But overall, this is a low risk, high reward area for HBAR overall. And not only is it a very good entry, but will HBAR make you rich? If you put in a certain amount of money at these levels, 100% you could get rich off of HBAR. I'm not even, I'm not going to spill hopium or anything like that. Um, I'm just being completely honest with you. I mean, it depends on what you think is rich. Uh, but I mean, at these levels, you could easily get, you know, 28,000 or, you know, even 50,000 if you wanted to, um, you know, coins. And at a dollar plus, you're making a ton of profit. And we already know what's going to happen here because we've seen it so many times again before 
you know, we've seen Matic doing the same thing. We've seen XRP doing the same thing. All these assets tend to do the same consolidation, some shorter, some longer. But hey, that's the cards that you're dealt. You got to play them. I've been seeing a lot of people get impatient with HBAR. I mentioned this multiple times that we have a lot of individuals out there that just don't know how to be patient in this game. And patience wins above all. I mentioned it multiple times before. Even if we look here, you know, we see Matic at $1.94. So it's up 22%. You know, Matic, I remember trading Matic at under 20 cents and I just knew what I held. And it, it's still one of those incredible holds still at these current prices, no matter what, because we're in profit, stress-free holds. Getting into Matic or getting into HBAR at these prices is a stress-free hold because we are still in that consolidation. Yeah, we might come up, co go down a little bit before really breaking out. But once we break out above that all-time high of almost 46 cents, it's game over. I, I'm telling you guys, I, I can't stress that enough and I cannot warn you guys enough that HBAR is extremely undervalued. It's one of those incredible assets in the space that I would love, like having this and XRP in your bag is all you really need. I mean, I'm not going to say, hey, go 50-50 and just hold both. Uh, diversify your holdings however you'd like, but I'm just saying the both of these projects compared to like, you know, most out there are some of the most undervalued, incredible gems in the space. And once Flare comes into play with XRP, for an example, it's game over with that as well because you're getting Flare for free in terms of holding XRP back in December, which is massive. But nonetheless, guys, I just wanted to really update you guys in terms of where I see the movement going on HBAR, where I see, you know, you know why I'm pretty much telling you guys to be patient with it because we're going to break out here shortly. And I think that we don't need to hold it for another month before we see a breakout. I think it's going to happen within, you know, the next two to three weeks, uh, most likely happening in, you know, by the middle of June around there. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications on uh, because you guys will always be the first to know when I upload and uh, you'll get the news exactly when it comes out. And if you guys do want to follow me on Twitter and also join the Discord down in the description below, uh, I appreciate it greatly and I welcome you guys and so does all the Crusaders in the Discord as well. But nonetheless, this has been Nick. Peace out.